<laughs> Dear Sheth, I'm a new player still in bronze, just wondering when is a good time to send my first drone scout? And how do you feel about always blindly getting a spine crawler? If you're in bronze, I will go ahead and say, uh, just go ahead and send it out at like nine. Uh, every matchup, might as well. So, so just so you learn what people are doing. But uh, it obviously varies on matchup and your skill level. If you're a higher level player, ZVZ I don't scout. ZVP I don't scout except with overlords and with zerglings. ZVT I scout after my expansion. Uh, what was the second part of that question? I'm sorry. Uh, how do you feel about always getting a blind spine crawler? <laughs> Which matchup? ZVT I think it's okay. ZVP. I think it's stupid. ZVZ depends on the map, but it's viable. You think it's, okay. it's stupid in ZVP? Yep. See, I, and you're the pro here, so correct me. But I, I am just feeling like uh, these zealot sentry pushes that come with like four zealots and eight sentries. Uh, kind of, they usually come before you have roaches. Like, I've lost mm -hmm. games to that crap, man. And I feel like probably the best way to just kind of not lose to it is to have a spine crawler or two there. Uh, if, you, if you see that coming, sentries move so slowly, you can throw one down and it's not really a blind spine crawler. Um, I guess other things I would say is just, if they're doing that and you, you, you can make a bunch of lings, I'd rather say I'd rather see a blind ling army than yeah. a blind spine crawler in ZVP. But I mean, there are definitely good times to make a blind one in ZVP. Like if you expect like a four gate, if you expect some sort of early pressure, sure. But uh, I'd rather see units, especially on certain maps where uh, spine colors are worthless, such as Delnaga, such as Delta, such as uh, other ones like that. Okay. Well, th kind of building on that, uh, Sheth, you seem to never really build spine crawlers during this session. During this session, <laughs> session is the word I'm trying to say. Sheth, <laughs> you never made any spine crawlers, even during lean baneling play. Is there a reason for that? Is there a place for spine crawlers in ZVZ? In ZVZ, I use them to help wall in my base. I will use them as a cheap building that will fit in a small square to prevent zerglings and banelings from getting into my mineral line uh, to complete a proper sim city. Uh, I will get spine crawlers if I want to do infestors. I will get spine crawlers to uh, deal against infestor timing pushes. I will get spine crawlers to deal with a one base against a two base timing attack. I will get spine crawlers uh, if I feel I'm far ahead and I want to be super safe. I won't get spine crawlers in early baneling zergling play, uh, generally. If they're pressuring me a lot, I will, but it's so hard to, to put them in the right place mm -hmm. if it's an early enough pressure. So uh, that I guess that answers that to my standards. Yeah, I think probably one of the reasons that that question was asked is because um, we see Idra all the time make one spine crawler at the edge of his creep right above his ramp. Uh, how do you feel about that? Um, in ZVZ, he always does that? Well, not always, but when, when he's playing against mainling play, he often does that. Okay. Um, it's good to be safe. Idra's always been of the, of the mindset of, I want to play a macro game and I'll be extra safe. Um, like in back in Brood War when he was Terran, he'd always like throw down an extra bunker or even a supply depot in front of the walls, or mm -hmm. maybe even not move out to his expansion until he was absolutely sure he was safe, which you know was great play because he had amazing macro. Um, and in, in ZBZ, it's just his way of being, you know, super safe. It helps, and if if your opponent's all inning, it's great. And even if they're not, it doesn't set you far behind. And if you're if you really think your macro is better than theirs, go for it. Um, might as well. But uh, I. I, I do love my macro, but a lot of times I'll be more risky, I guess you could say. <laughs> Panda Corex in chat. I don't usually ask questions out of chat, but this was just too hilarious. How, is a, blind how is a blind spine crawler going to hit anything if it can't see? <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Shout out for being clever, Panda Corex. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, dear Sheth. I've been going 14 gas, 14 pool lately, often into a speed link span, and I've been consistently losing to early roach plays. My question for you is when do I stop producing r drones and start roaching up so that I don't get my ass handed to me? You want to make a lot of links, enough that you've pressured them to making a lot of roaches. Once you've done that, you can, uh, as, as long as you have at least a few more drones than them, or you imagine more than them, then you want to throw it on the roach foreign and... and be prepared for that. Maybe even a little bit before, like as you're droning up, you want to throw it down, throw down the roach horn, and, and make sure you just have enough wings to, to counter if necessary. 
to try and delay reinforcements at the least. And when they attack, be prepared to use your drones and both of your queens with your with your few roaches you've made, and if you can, your links too. Okay. Um, last question, Sheth, and then I'll let you kind of do any shout-outs or announcements that you may or may not have. Awesome. Uh, dear Sheth, uh, against a Protoss player that takes a fast expo uh, via uh, three gate uh, with sentries and then a forge, uh, and then turtling hard with cannons while macroing and taking a fourth. I guess he skips the third. Okay. Yeah. This question is awful. Uh, <laughs> how do you stop the death ball after he's on four bases? I know the answer to this. What's your answer, Sheth? Um, I, I attack at that 180 timing, or I uh, I have a, uh, enough tier three units, or I have enough larva that once my army dies, I can re macro it. Make day nine's 300 supplies of your army, or uh, uh, just 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 trying to harass them. But once they get to four bases, it's really hard. You need uh, high tier units, and you need the whole map basically yeah. on your side. Can't let them get to four bases, right? That, that's that's the right answer. <laughs> All right, man. Well, uh, Sheth, I have so much fun when you come on the show. You're a great, uh, you're a great personality. You're an awesome player, and you're just a lot of fun. So thanks for coming on. Uh, before we wrap things up, do you have any announcements, shout-outs, anything like that that you would like to make? Um, I too am greatly looking forward to the 21st for the Jinro versus Idra show match. Uh, I, I do actually know what the announcement is. I do know the secret behind all the <laughs> I stuff. I do too, and it's exciting. It is very exciting. Uh, I can't wait for that to happen. Uh, so, you know, if you haven't checked that out, check out that show match, Clash of the Titans. Um, other than that, I've been casting the GCPL lately. I don't think I will be this week. I get to take a week off because I casted most of the ones last week. Um, and this week I want to play in the, the Team Liquid Open. Mm -hmm. Other than that, just a few other shout-outs I would have would be uh, check out my stream, JustinTV slash FXOChef. I love my team. Daniel, Josh, Andy, Kurt, Phil Philip. Uh, Ming Young, also known as Peter. <laughs> Don't know why he has both of those names, but I'm okay with it. And uh, also, you know, you for doing this this lovely 12 weeks of the pro thing, man. I first heard about it, and I was like, what, who are they going to have as pros? This is going to be amazing. Oh, in control machine. Darn it, this is going to be awesome. Why wasn't he inviting me? <laughs> and, then, and then you did, so I'm so happy to be here. Uh, I think this is amazing what you're doing, so big well, shout-out to you. Thank you, Chef. I appreciate it. We have more exciting pros in store. There's a big one coming on next week. And then the following week, the week seven, I actually have uh, some other exciting stuff. So, dude, this is it's just getting better and better, Chef. And I'm gonna absolutely bring you back to talk about uh, your ZVP a little bit more, because last time we only talked about Fourgate, and that's really uh, unfair to your style. Um, man, I had fun today. Thank you so much for coming on, and uh, everybody watching. Thanks so much, Chef. I hope you have a great evening, man. Thanks. You too, man. See you later, buddy. Good, good doing this with you. Bye. See ya. All right. Uh, everybody needs to give a uh, huge thumbs up, mega hearts and hugs and all those things to Chef. He is the man. Uh, tomorrow night is Machine on, uh, on 12 Weeks with the Pros, I think. You know, I honestly, I haven't actually talked to Bryce this week. I hope like hell. That he remembers that we're <laughs> that we're still doing this, uh, but by all accounts he will be on tomorrow as the last uh, the last sort of piece of input uh, for the ZVZ week. Uh, next week we have a big show, and I, I'm I'm going to tell you it's just not it's not just uh, I don't want it I don't want you guys to feel like it's all about one person that's coming on. It's not it's not just about one guy so. Uh, I want y'all to kind of keep uh, keep getting excited about that. Uh, the following week, week seven, I promise I'm going to bring cats back on for week seven. I also am going to be bringing on uh, another special guest who I have not announced yet, and I'm I'm trying. I can't. I, it, it's really unfair for me to say it, but I'm trying to get Rhett to come back. So um, so we will see. We will see. We will see. You guys uh, continue with your speculation. I, you know, I've learned from Jeff. Uh, and you know what? A shout out to Jeff and shout out to his big announcement that he's going to be making on the 21st. So, uh, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, tonight's show. I will see y'all all later.